Now what we're about to do is actually fairly simple. It's about changing the resolution and or scaling a video frame or an image frame using OpenCV and Python. Now the reason you'd want to do this or the reason you do this in general has to do with a couple things. One of them is perhaps you just need a smaller video size or a smaller image size so you want to rescale it because of that reason. Another one is when you're processing a lot of data or a lot of images or a lot of video, a lot of times you might need to scale down a image or frame because of that as well. So this is simply a reference for you to be able to go back to and update your projects to make sure that you're using OpenCV as efficiently as possible and you're just not overloading whatever computer you're working on. Now this becomes even more important when you're using something like Raspberry Pi for like a security camera. And even if you have like a 1080p web camera attached to it, sometimes you might need to shoot in 480p instead of 1080p for that reason, to make sure that it's a low file size as well as that it's not overloading your Raspberry Pi, whichever one you end up using. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into this blog post, the link that you see right now is what we're gonna be using. And we're just gonna be going step-by-step step using a very basic thing to make this happen. Now we're into my starter code. This is code that came from you know, a previous tutorial we did, but as you see, it's actually fairly straightforward and fairly simple. This is something you'll probably get very used to either writing or copying and pasting because you use it a lot. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start to bring over my code from the rescaling. So going back into that blog post, I'm gonna just copy and paste some stuff so we can see just generally what's happening here and just go line by line for all of that. So above the while statement, I'm just gonna paste in those new methods for make it somewhat of one of these scales. Now, what you might end up doing is just this change resol resolution. And what we see here is these numbers, three and four cap as in this capture, this video capture item. So if you actually change the name of that, you would wanna make sure that these names are changed as well. Uh, but basically what's happening here is there's parameters that you can set that are built into OpenCV. And I'm just changing those parameters. Three is for the width and four is for the height. And that's how we get 1920 by 1080 or otherwise 1080p. And that's true all the way throughout. So if you need to change your resolution to being whatever it is that you need, this is how you would go about doing that. It's, it's actually really straightforward. So if I wanted to change my current video to something different, I could do that fairly simply. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and just run this so we can see what the default is. Now I'm in my project. Of course, I'm in a virtual environment. I now am calling it OpenTube and I will have this on GitHub at some point. Um, but right now I'm calling it OpenTube and it's virtual environment. And then I have pip freeze if I see in here what's installed, um, it's just these things. So I have OpenCV installed and NumPy. Um, if you're on a Mac, it's it's roughly the same anyway with the Mac setup process. Okay, so let's go into our SRC folder where I have my source files here, and I'm just going to run Python res change.py. What this is going to do is show me my default resolution. As you see now, this is what I have for my frame, whatever it is, right? So yours is going to look different than mine most likely, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and Q to quit it out. And now what I'm gonna do is change the resolution to let's say make 480p. And I can do this before my while loop. So this is changing the entire video captures resolution. I'm gonna go ahead and save that and we'll run it. And now it actually doesn't look a whole lot different, uh, but the resolution did change. So let's go ahead and try another one like make 1080p. We save that and we run it again. And now my resolution's a lot bigger and it's probably gonna be more choppy on your end, mainly because I'm doing screen recording and doing this, where yours, you're probably not gonna be doing screen recording and using a webcam. Um, so as you see, my video is now the full frame of what my webcam is. 
So um, I'm not put, I didn't put this on my blog post exactly, but what if I wanted to change this resolution to something greater than 1080, um, like 420? So if I do that, I could do change res by using that, that method I have there. I'm just gonna comment out make 1080p. And I'm, I'm actually, like I'm not gonna use 1080 or 4K in particular, I'll just put some bigger number here that's not quite 4K, but I'm just, just throwing in some numbers in here and seeing what happens as a result. So I save that and run it. And what's gonna happen is um, it, it actually did make it bigger. Um, so in some cases, and, and now it's super choppy and it's actually not working that well at all. It's choppy for me as well. Um, so in some cases, it will actually upscale it from this res change, but this is not what I would recommend doing. I wouldn't recommend upscaling it too much, if at all. Um, and then the other thing is, a lot of times you'll see too, is it actually won't upscale it beyond what the capabilities of the webcam are. So on my Mac, that's what happened. Now on my Windows, it's allowing the scaling to go up. So um, this res change is good and bad at the same time. So what I would recommend doing when you're changing your resolution is to just downscale and not not very often upscale um, your sizes. And I, I would say that in general, unless you have a very specific use case for that, you're mostly gonna downscale, or in other words, you're gonna make it a smaller size. Now this is also important for recording video, of course, right? So a smaller size um, frame or a smaller size resolution will mean that the file size is a lot smaller. You probably already know that, but I just wanna mention it to make sure you knew for sure. Now the next method is the scaling factor. So we can actually apply something very similar, but to the actual frame itself, not necessarily to the whole capture, but the actual frame. So let's go ahead and check it out with the method that's just below. And I'll show you and talk about what the this method is. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these comments that I made and just bring in this rescale frame. So what I can do here is with this method, I or this function, I can pass the frame in and then it's gonna return back a rescaled or a resized version of that frame. Now granted, you could write this stuff in the while loop itself, but you know, I want to make code that I can reuse and that's why I did something like this. So you can use this on any and all of your projects. So then I would just say frame equals to whatever I want to rescale the original frame to. So this is the original frame that's coming from the capture right here. And then this is the new frame, which obviously I could denote it if I wanted to as far as a variable is concerned, but I'm gonna let you guys figure that part out if you need. And then my percent, so the size that I actually want, I'm gonna go ahead and just say 30 first. So this is going to scale it based off of some percent. So zero to 100, uh, you know, if you don't, if you do zero percent, it's gonna be zero percent of the size. As you can see here, the math actually does happen. And then we provide that as the dimensions and then the interpolation, which I'll not, I won't cover right now, but basically how it's gonna scale, um, that's what we do here. Right, so these are all, this is fairly standard default sort of stuff, but I just made a method to make it nice and easy for us. So we save that. And again, I still have, I, I took off the resolution running. I mean, the methods are still there, but it's not running. So let's go ahead and run this. Press up, res change, and there you go. So this is roughly 30% of what my camera does, which is 1080p. This is roughly that. So if I wanted to actually have two frames to show this difference, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do frame two being 140, and then we'll just do an IM show, cv2.im show, and we'll just call this frame two, and we save it, and let's go ahead and run it again. Oops, we need to close out that original one, so run it with a, or once I hit Q and hit save and then up, all of those things actually happened. They did happen, I promise. Um, so what we see here is two different frames. One's really small and one's a lot bigger. It didn't actually rescale the frame on the video itself. Like it's actually not showing it on the video or it doesn't seem to be. So I'm gonna just do 500% and just see what effect that has. 
So I close out the other one and then I run it again. And yeah, so it's still actually showing um, the frame itself not being rescaled. Although I promise you the frame is being rescaled. So you're gonna wanna test this out um, on your end as far as the scaling is concerned. Uh, but it might also have to do with changing the resolution. So you could use these things in conjunction with each other. But again, the main purpose of this was about the downscaling and once we save whatever that downscale would be. So if you have any questions on this, let us know. And if you find some new tips or tools on this in particular, rescaling, upscaling, or changing the resolution, let us know in the comments below or also please let us know on that blog post because it will help everybody as that is gonna be the long-term reference. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to get everything and hit that little bell notification to know about when we go live because I've been doing that a lot more to help you answer, get questions answered and also get your project out there and going. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.